Hello everybody and welcome back to Shogun Total War with part 4, I believe, of our Hojo campaign. And we're doing fairly well in our position in the Northeast. We're about to continue uh, wrapping up the Imagawa clan, at least in this portion of the map. One of the things I've been sort of dancing around with the, the past several years of play is I don't want to eliminate them too quickly leaving them a lot of these uh, other territories. Like, we could go for the Daimyo right now, and uh, if we kill him in battle and he has no heirs with him, then that'll be faction over. The problem with that is that other factions may claim some of their territories, and so we may be strengthening another faction like uh, the Mori, which are looking pretty strong, and we don't have anything uh, that we can do to interrupt their growth at this point. But... Some of this is, I guess, inescapable because the Imagawa also have holdings uh, far away over here to the west of our position. And so there's really no way that we can uh, take all of these provinces without wiping them out unless they have an heir who's over here. So maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'm still going to wait uh, until the last possible moment to take out their daimyo, um, and then we'll just have to see what happens over here currently. Uh, the people who could lay claim to their territory is only the Mori, unfortunately. I would like to strengthen the Shimazu a little bit, I think. I'm more concerned about the Mori, uh, primarily. They seem to be the, the, the biggest rivals for me. But there seems to be nothing we can do about that. Uh, and the Shimazu and Mori are allied, you know, so I guess we'll just have to see how it plays out. But in this episode, we're going to start right off with a, what's going to be a ridiculous battle. It's going to be us versus nothing but archers. Uh, in Suruga, and then the other thing that we'll have to see is if we're going to be counterattacked anywhere. Uh, the leader of the Imagawa clan is right next door in Makawa. He could potentially unite with some of his forces and hit up into Shinano, or maybe uh, hit us into Tomi, and uh, we'll see if he's going to do either of those things. I'm a little concerned as well with our air up in the north in Noto province. The problem here is we don't have any building facilities, and I really don't want to spend the money to uh, construct them, because in a little while, Noto is going to be really irrelevant. There's no good farm income here, there's not a lot of wealth, so it, it, this is the type of province that I don't really want to build up, uh, because as we continue, you know, we're going to be down around here, and there's not going to be a great need to build, uh, you know, unupgraded, unarmored units in some backwater province. So even, you know, spending the years and the koku on building like a spear dojo, I just, maybe it's extremely stingy, uh, but I don't feel the need. That said, we're looking pretty thin. We've got, uh, you know, about half of our force is uh, Yari Ashigaru, and then we do have, you know, a couple of spears, Yari, uh, Yari Samurai, and, you know, a few archer units. If we're attacked by a really strong presence here, uh, which as we can now see, we build watchtowers in Noto at least, we can see there are some warrior monks here, and these are the first time we've seen these units, and check out the honor on these guys, three honor for most of these units, this one has four, that's because Kaga does give a bonus, and it looks like there's maybe a fortress or at least a large castle here, uh, so yeah, they're, what do they have, they've got a Buddhist temple, so that's going to get them their warrior monks, they've got a horse dojo as well, uh, they got a Tranquil Garden and a famous archery dojo, so they're going to get uh, nice upgraded archers and warrior monks. This is a bad army to fight, because warrior monks are good against lots of stuff. I think the only thing that they are uh, kind of weak to, I guess, is arrow fire. Not that they're super weak to that, just that in melee they're very strong and they've got such high morale that it's hard to break them through melee. You're going to lose a lot of guys before they turn around and run. So the best thing to do is out-archer them and when they've got a lot of archers too, that makes it difficult. So I'm just going to hope they don't attack. If they do, we're going to probably just withdraw back to Sado, uh, assuming we can do that. And then, you know, if these guys attack, fine. I think we can fight them out. We're going to have to get some of our troops over here to connect this up pretty soon. We can't do that just yet, but maybe the next turn we will. So let's end the season and see. Okay, yep. They're moving down. Lord Imagawa has invaded your province. 120 men, and we've got 116. So oh, we've got 120. Oh, and he's only got 160. So we could we could kill him in this. 
Now, I'm sure he has an heir, so let's command the defense personally. I'll risk it, you know, you know, taking him out because I don't think we're going to actually eliminate the faction in this battle. Uh, but, yeah, I think we've got, you know, not much. Yari Ashigaru and archers. If we lose this one, too, it's not that big of a deal. I haven't invested in it at all. And we may very well lose it because this is a flat, featureless province. I mean, there's maybe some trees here, but this is basically the edge of the map. I don't think we can really deploy. We can't deploy there. I don't know if we can even uh, set up there after the battle begins. And it's kind of downhill. I don't know how far we can go. Let's let's get back here, though. Uh, let's see. Our bodyguard, or the general, is this Yariyashigaru unit. So let's see if we can get back into the trees. Oh my gosh, we can't? Yeah. Well, I guess there's not much much point if we can't, uh, we can't get in here and take advantage of the trees. Not that it's going to be great for us to fight there, but cavalry is weaker in the forest, so. We'll just speed up. Eventually they'll have to come finding us. Um, there they are. we got some Yari Samurai. We've got... Oh, two units. Yeah, okay. Well, I really thought we were going to uh, take them out. Let's instead, we'll focus on some of their stronger melee units. Try to take some of them out. This is not going to be like a, a good, good battle or anything. We'll just see what we can do. We've got zero honor on our general, so he's probably going to flee. You know, if he routes... The archers are going to wrap pretty fast, and they'll get away, and I'm okay with that. Targeting the general, just see if that's going to do anything. Not much yet. Let's focus on the yard side here, man. Yep. There we go. Okay, we actually didn't save that many archers, it turns out. So, we're in the castle. Now, we'll be able to get this in the next turn. And Suruga, he's withdrawing. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. That was that was well done. I should have seen that coming. So, I thought we had these guys totally surrounded, this little army here. And uh, we were just going to be able to butcher them. And we could have. But because he attacked, now they can retreat to Totomi. All right. Why did we lose Kai? Did, why on, why did we lose Kai? Okay, Sagami, we killed an enemy ninja, that's great. Why, oh, they retreated here. Why on earth did they do that? Can they retreat to a province that is ungarrisoned? Because I, I guess we didn't have anybody here, but I thought that because we own it, that they wouldn't be able to just walk in there. Maybe they also attacked from here? Maybe they split their forces? Jeez, I'm going to have to watch out for that uh, in the future. I, I really thought we would have been safer there. Good news, though, in the north, Noto was not attacked. So that's very nice. Now what we can... Jeez, this, this certainly fouls up my plans. I was hoping we were just going to have this resolved, then be able to sweep into the north, kind of hold into Tomi, reinforce Shinano to Tomi, and then get Etchu. But now it's going to take longer. Well, so, I mean, what this army could do is push further, right? They could take Izu this turn, which is not that useful, so I kind of don't care if they do. I'd, I'd rather not lose Sagami, though. We'll just withdraw to the province. Same thing with Musashi, although that is annoying because I don't want to have to fight them over a river. Okay, so how about this? We'll split our forces... Shinano's building a large castle at the moment. So what they're going to do, I, I suspect, they're going to see if we empty Shinano, they're just going to move in. The AI in this game uh, cheats, basically. <laughs> it sees your moves. So you move first, and then the AI gets to react. That's the only way I can think of it. Theoretically, right, all the moves are happening simultaneously because... You know, we're not, it's a turn-based game. So you'd think that, okay, we issue our commands, we click end turn, the AI issues its commands based on what, what it sees now, 
but no, the AI issues its commands based on what we do. So I guess it's not cheating, it's just that we always move first. We never get to see what how they're going to dispose their forces, which does feel a little unfair. Uh, but what do they have here? They've got enough in adjacent provinces that they could they could take back Shinano with, with a strong force, right? And we'd have to fight for it. But rather, I'd rather do that than uh, than have to fight for Musashi. So let's let's do it. Let's split the forces. We'll leave a Yari Ashigaru unit up here. And we're basically saying, come and take it, right? Come and take Shinano. I'm going to move down into Kai. They're probably going to withdraw from here. Maybe they'll just withdraw to the castle. But at least if they withdraw to Musashi, we'll be able to fight them over the river with stronger forces. And in Echigo... Um, oh, that's right. So I don't want to totally denude Shinano, but I will... Uh, leave a Yari unit here. How about this? We'll move the 50 over here and move all these guys over to Shinano. Alright, that'll at least make them have to send a plausible force to hit it. I guess I can move the Yari spears up here too. And what I could do if I really wanted to is I could try to pin this army by sending my air down. Leave a Yari uh, Samurai unit just in case the rebels attack so I can withdraw to the castle, theoretically, though I I probably won't be trying to counterattack that. But we can do this to sort of pin this unit so that they'll know, okay, we're being attacked, we have to stick around. And uh, we can withdraw it if we don't feel like we can win it because if they stay, uh, they've got one, two, three, four, Four and a half archers and Yari Sam, and we've got one, two, three archers, and a couple. I think we could take it. It'd be it'd be slightly tough, but I think we could. So we may see how that goes. If they get reinforcements, I'm not going to bother. The numbers here, they've got 331. So if it's more than 331, we're going back to Noto. Otherwise, we're going to see how it goes. So Shinano is defended. Uh, where are we here? We've got the daimyo uh, in Surigo. And what do we want to do? We're hitting Kai. That's going to either make them withdraw or fight. Probably they'll either withdraw or just attack another province. So this is going to fall for only one season. Uh, we could stick around. Right? This is enough to hold it against this force if they want to break out, I think. And so are we going to have to split our forces or send them against a larger target? Like, I don't think it's going to add anything by sending this force into Kai. So maybe we'll keep them here. We'll see what happens. Uh, this can hit Shinano and Kai if we need to, as well as Totomi. So let's just leave that. Uh, and let's, while we're doing it, let's train. Public order is looking bad, though, because I think I played with the tax rate a little bit. Let's go back down to normal. It's summer. So the, the public order changes. Um, I mean, obviously it does, based on certain things, but... I wonder if there's a season-related public order shift. But let's get back to training. I want to get some uh, some Yari Samurai. I want to get some more archers here. And uh, I will go with another Naginata unit there. Uh, in Hitachi, we are building a famous armory just to double down on the defensive uh, nature that I'm kind of building towards with Hojo. I know I'm playing fairly aggressively, I guess, you know, in, in the, these first initial uh, years of the game, taking out Yuisugi, uh, you know, re really pushing back hard against Takeda, and now we're, we're wrapping up Imagawa, hopefully. But I would like to sit at some point and just kind of build and get a good army together. Maybe that'll come when, when this, this gets finished. 
So I think we've done what we can do here. Let's yeah, let's go with another archer unit and Echigo and and the turn. All right, looks like they're assaulting into Tomi. We've got only 22 men. I'm going to automatically resolve. I know that, you know, at some point we will fight a siege battle. But I don't think that that's the point to do it. Okay, so they've got 331. Um, let's, let's command the attack. I'm just going to see how this goes. I, I don't really want to weaken my position. Because the rebels are, of course, right next door. And they could move all over the place and start doing a lot of damage. So if this looks like it's going to be effective, uh, then great. But if it looks like we're going to start taking lots of losses, then, then that's not good. Okay, this is the sea. I was a little confused. I was It looked green to me, so I thought this was like a, uh, a plane. But no, we're... We're attacking them, and they're going to be on the beach? That seems extremely favorable. I mean, they can they can choose where they are, but... It's probably going to be down here somewhere, unless they can set up on the cliff. They're not going to be, like, right here. I guess they could be over there. Let's get our guys, uh, let's see, into a formation that looks reasonable. What did we like before? Did we like the crane? No. Did we like the fish scales? No. Birds? That's what we had initially. Arrowheads? Nah, keyhole. Let's let's go with the crane. We'll we'll just do that. Uh, begin the battle and let's see where they are. Well, I, I just don't know. I guess we got to get to this hill. They may be down on the beach. And if they are, I, I, you know, you want to move fast so you can seize the initiative before they start climbing. But they could be over here, too. All right. Now can we see... No, they're not down here. So they're... I don't think they're tucked in over here, so they're probably way over over there. They can't be behind me in the trees, right? No. Good, 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 good. Alright, and I don't think they're trying anything too fancy, although... All I see is their general here. That's kind of suspicious. Okay, they're downhill. Good, good, good. So we're leading with an archer unit. Uh, let's um, let's actually kind of move them up in this direction. Actually, let's rush. Honestly, they're just setting themselves up for that. Okay, one thing I don't like about this is when units are grouped, you can't just like select more than one unit because you'll you'll end up selecting the entire group so it's a little harder to move stuff you need to make separate groups and I just that's like a whole other layer for me like I'm I feel like I'm almost better just with no groups at all and just trying to keep an eye on who's where all right so we're gonna just do that we're gonna rush you melee guys hit the samurai archers that's a general. We'll push him back. We've got the uphill. So if we can catch him, we should be doing pretty well, even with the Aryashigaru. You know, our general is uh, getting some shots in. I'm not sure how effective they are, though, because they're a little behind the hill here. But thankfully, we are we are getting some clashes on the downhill. actually going to hit these samurai archers, which is too bad. And yeah, let's get the Yari Ashigaru over here. We'll help out. Right, 
Someone's routing, I think. Alright, they've got lots of archers, they've got uh, honor on these archers. This is problematic. Right, let's throw into the Yari Samurai here. I'm getting, getting a little concerned with how long that melee is taking on the hill slope. Let's get the other archers down too. And this is my air, so I do have to be careful with that. Here, 51 versus 58. Jeez. We've, we do not have many units left fighting. 24 Yari Samurai right here. The rest is archers, and we're outnumbered. I feel like we should be doing better than we are. We've got the uphill advantage. But uh, I think we're gonna have to retreat. Yep, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna withdraw from the battle here uh, because this is just we're not we're not making any progress here. We haven't routed a single one of their units, despite having a general with better command. And the height advantage, I don't know what it is. What, What is the problem here? Hmm. It could just be that they had so many archers. All right, everybody uh, do the withdrawal thing. So some of our guys are coming back. I guess there's an opportunity to try to turn and, and deal with them. All right, well, that, that was miserable. Man, I really thought that would have worked better. I. You know, once you start getting one unit routing, that damages the morale of all your other guys. So that that certainly accounts for part of it. But why did they why did they route in the first place? You know, I, I guess it was Yari Ashigaru, right, getting into into too much melee. But I really would have thought, with the height advantage, with all of our other melee units there, we would have started to break some of them on the downhill push. But it didn't work. So um, I mean, they did have a two-star general. And now they've got a three-star general, right? Or or they had three and we had four to begin with. But we had better honor on our guys. Anyway, we'll, we, we did what we wanted to do in the sense that maybe we prevented them from attacking Shinano, right? So we pinned them in at you so they didn't attack Shinano. So now we're invading Kai, and they're going to actually defend this one. They're not trying to break out or go anywhere else. That is great news. And we've got the first opportunity to use our Naginata unit. We've got two of these, full strength, against a bunch of archers, which is kind of ideal, I think. So let's see, fine day. You know what, let's wait, because they've got nothing but archers. Light fog. Ah, shoot. I was hoping for the fog to get a little bit heavier. And maybe we could take advantage of that, because you can confuse the AI in the fog. Sort of shuts their brain off a little bit. I don't think fog is really much of an issue in medieval Total War, come to think of it. There is this kind of haze in uh, snowstorms and rainstorms, but I don't think there's fog as such, which is really a shame. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think this is, this is good. What formation is this? I wish I knew. Is this the crane one? It doesn't tell me, I don't think. I guess I could try it. Okay, is this birds... Arrowhead. That's Arrowhead, right? We'll go with that. So everyone's grouped just for the purposes of moving. And where are they going to be? Probably up here. Probably up here, if I had to guess. Yes, right on the crest of the hill like jerks. Oh, and they're, they're coming right for it. They're going to get in some shots before we do. Possibly. 
Okay, so our Naginats is right here in the middle. You know, like, I guess we could send them out now, but I think probably the smarter thing to do is just to use our archers, right? Let's get them through the trees. We do have quite a few of them. forward a bit. The other thing is, somehow this is, uh, forests are more frustrating than in Medieval 1, which is, which is a game that was kind of renowned for being maddeningly difficult to, to use the forests. It's not so much visibility as it is maneuverability. As you can see, you know, I can't give a march order where there's a red. Uh, you know, a cursor showing. So a lot of these trees, you know, are basically impassable terrain, so I have to actually find a clear spot. Which I guess makes logical sense. Medieval 1 did away with that. You can click anywhere in a forest. You know, your formations are still going to be screwed up, and you're still going to suffer all the penalties, but you're not going to have that extra little headache. Alright, let's just play this out. I think we should be able to do that. You know, and I'm going to take advantage. No, we can't quit. Okay. I was thinking we could decrease the volume in battles. Because I've decreased the volume for the campaign map. That works fine, but there's not a separate setting for the sound effects uh, for the battles, as far as I'm aware. All right, we're cutting them down. We're doing quite well. But let's move this guy uh, out of, out of the, the way. I think... What we want to do is uh, ungroup everybody now. They're just so yelly. Alright, samurai archers marching quickly. Let's, um... Should we bring up the Naginata? Is it time? It may be. They've got just nothing but archers, though. So the problem with Naginata is that they're slow. And so they're not, like, going to catch these units. In fact, why are, you, why are you running? He's shown to be marching quickly, which is odd. Alright, are you guys... Yeah, they're, they're just going for it. Very good for them, I guess. Bringing up more archers. It's almost like they just want to, to end it at this point. Alright, there we go. I think they're coming in too. They're gonna they're gonna get tired of this, so hopefully they'll they'll just allow me to uh, kill them. Let's just get into melee range. I'll take it. Okay, now they're running away. Sure. Well, I think with what we've got sort of coming after them. Let's see, you're right there, you've come back, that's fine. Well, let's just give some uh, some attack orders. Not the general, but everybody else. And we'll speed it up just to wrap this up. As you can see, they're just kiting me around. Um, ultimately, I don't think they're, they're going to get anywhere. I mean, we are attacking. We're, we're probably we may lose those Yari Ashigaru, but um, we've got Naginata coming right after him. So here we go. All right, are you like 
going after this unit now because you're somehow did I double click and select all the Ariashigaru? No. Okay, good. There's some quirks with the with the selection here that I haven't quite worked out. Unit selection and maneuvering and stuff. Uh, all right, all right. This is where cavalry would be really helpful. So we're just gonna chase them around the battlefield like idiots. All right, there we go. I feel like we're probably going to get the end screen here pretty quick. We're not fighting anywhere. Oh, we're being shot though. <laughs> what do we got? Like three guys? We got one Samurai Archer. Alright. Finally! Alright. Yeah, lots of archers, man. It's not, not the strong point. Um, okay, Kai conquered back, except that we do have to siege it out now. Uh, so hopefully that's good. Our clan is now the largest in terms of armies. Okay, great. That's uh, that's encouraging. And Lord Imagawa's forces in Suruga, yes, about to fall. Great. So in Noto, we're looking at a much reduced garrison here. Uh, it's it's very pathetic, and it's just ripe for the plucking by these rebels. So. Uh, we're going to probably... Our, our air is not looking too good, right? I think he started with four stars, lost one in a uh, in a bad invasion of Sado, gained it back, and now he's lost another one. So it would probably have been better for him to just withdraw, although I really thought we were going to win that one. Uh, I don't think, unlike in later games, I don't think there's any penalty for just abandoning or withdrawing before a fight. It's when you actually commit to it and lose that you're going to get the rank penalties uh, which is interesting you know I kind of like that medieval one did give you some reason to risk battle because withdrawing too much would uh, would make you get bad traits but I don't think that's the case in this game okay so what we could do now is strip away some of these units because here uh, one year okay that's four turns there's five guys here let's just auto resolve it We'll end the siege there. There's no sense in fighting that one out. If this were a full unit, right, and I were compelled to assault, I would assault and I would play it out because that's part of the game, right, in you know, playing the uh, these sieges, which are very, uh, very unbalanced. And uh, there's a there's a niceness to that in a weird way. It's, it's kind of nice to see that the sieges, despite how simple they are, uh, can be really, really devastating to the attacker. But when we're facing like one or two units, there's just not much point to it. Uh, so here at Hitachi, this is illustrating now uh, one of the things that I mentioned earlier, that you can use Shinobi and a province, an enemy-held province with a port, uh, as a place to send your troops. So we could send this Naginata unit directly to Totomi. And what this also means is that like if we had a Shinobi here in Hizen, we could uh, land an army here from another province that we own that has a port. So it's it's a nice nice little feature. As you can see, uh, you know any of these places could become vulnerable to us. Of course, it's somewhat balanced, I guess, by the fact that there could be other enemy shinobi or uh, border watchtowers, which which would make this uh, much more challenging to pull off. But in this case, we could just do it. I'm kind of tempted to do that because we could just do this. Right, and then we can leave these guys here and move the daimyo uh, over here. Right now, their daimyo is inside the province, so I'm thinking they're probably going to try to uh, try to get this back. But I think we would be totally fine. Of course, there's nothing nothing they could really do. Uh, the biggest problem to me is. Right now, I guess the question of these guys uh, sally. Then we would have, you know, a couple of archers, a couple of Yari Samurai, and, a, and an Ashigaru unit. And they'd have, like, one, two full-strength archer units, basically. So we'd probably be okay here. Let's just check the public order. It's autumn, and we've still got a lot of cash. 
So I guess we don't need to, you know, bleed the provinces for all they're worth. So let's just leave it at, uh, what is it, normal? Yeah, well, that'll be fine. Noto is at 119, you know, I, I think that'll be good. But at Musashi, we can move uh, these guys up to Shinano. And I really want to grab Echu so we can, you know, reunite our forces. I want to, I want the prince to start getting some good traits again. I want this heir to be, you know, to be good. So with that in mind, do we have enough forces here to deal with what we're going to deal with? I think so. I think if I, I'm going to leave the archer here. I'm going to go with just one more, just as a defensive measure in case the Echu army uh, decides to head over to Echigo. And we're going to keep the, uh, the Shinobi moving. Okay, we've got one here, 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 here. Uh, so we could use one in Kazuki, and then we'll move you up to Shimosa, and let's just see. Yeah, let's keep going. I think one thing I may want to do, actually, is grab an emissary next, because I don't think we have any. Yeah, they've all been assassinated. So if we can kind of keep one kicking around, hopefully, maybe in a province that, that has border uh, forts in it, we can then use it to scout out for other provinces that have border forts before we send a shinobi over to a place that we might want to do a naval invasion to. Right, so use the uh, the pawn, the emissary, to just to scout out for infrastructure. If it looks safe, we'll send the shinobi over. Of course, there still sh could be enemy counter spies, shinobi of their own faction. Uh, but we'll, we'll sort of proceed that way. So this is about to fall... This is, is being assaulted. This we're moving in. Uh, and they're not besieged currently. But they may withdraw, and we could just get it back without a fight. Or they may move in forces and try to defend, but probably not. So, yeah, let's end the season. All right, large castle finished in Shinano. Great. And we're not going to be counterattacked there. All right, and Totomi, he's withdrawing but he's left some forces here uh, in the castle. Okay, right, we're auto-resolving this one. Only five men, and uh, we lost two in the assault. Okay, fair enough. And we just starved out uh, the Suruga siege, but it looks like the castle here is uh, no longer around. And this is the first time we're up over 10 grand. This is great. <laughs> we're doing very well. I think that the... the the last time I won, or the first time I won, the only time I've won a campaign was with the Mori, and I, I concentrated on like the, this, the southern and western part of the map, and I don't think I was making this much money before, and now I haven't even gotten to like the halfway point, and I'm doing great. All right, so any attacks now are going to be in the winter time, uh, but I think I can risk it because I imagine this is not going to be an actual battle. I think what we're going to see in Echu is a withdrawal of forces uh, from the Imagawa clan. I'll leave some people in Noto because uh, we really want to make sure that they're going to be good. Let's bring. Let's see. We've got more shinobi coming. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the emissary uh, up in Sagami because we've got a, a, a port here where he can easily be mo moved. And we've got a shinobi here as well. So I think that'll be good. We probably don't need these 16 archers here. Let's move them over to Totomi. They can be retrained there with the higher uh, archer bonus. And let's move a, a shinobi to Hitachi. But yeah, we're going to bring down the daimyo's heir. And let's, just to make sure... Uh, that he's, uh, you know, as good as he can be. Let's just top him off there. All right. And I think I want to leave all these hapless people in Noto, probably for public order reasons. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's move up uh, this Shinobi unit from Shinano. Move you over there. And we'll just we'll just gradually keep moving these guys around until we're all secure. And in Shinano, I, I think, geez, I guess the danger is that I clear out into Echu and then they bring all their forces up to Shinano, right? 
I can somewhat counter that here in Kai by this. We'll leave you just 33. Okay, so now you're there. And are you enough to hold off these forces? They may want to fight in Mikawa. Because it's got a river province. So like, what I'm trying to calculate now is if we attack here with like a lot of force, are we going to be able to uh, dislodge them? Are they going to withdraw? Uh, are they going to try to attack like an otherwise empty Shinano province? Now, this is not going to be empty. We're going to have at least all of these guys here. Um, along with some Yari Samurai from Musashi. Right, this looks pretty good. This goes up to Echu. We kick him out of here. This is just a general, it's not the heir. And this I don't think is the heir either. I think it would tell me, right? It certainly tells me when it's my heir. Yeah, army general and heir. So I think their their uh, successor is over in the west, which is good. So if we move all of these guys into Echu, we leave these forces in Shinano, and then next season we can take uh, this one, I guess. Right? I'm not I'm not too worried about it, honestly. Probably we, we might even leave it for a little while because these can no longer communicate, so it's not that big of a concern. I don't think he's going to try to attack this. If he does, I think we can hold it. We've got a couple of Naginata units. We've got, you know, a few archers. And so do we do we go up here? Try to force him out. Move the Sarugi units over. I think that that could work. Maybe we leave um, these guys just in case, right? In case this uh, this force tries to sally or break out. Okay, so with that said, um, our taxes are, uh, let's see, our taxes are normal. Let's, you know, let's leave them. I'm not going to mess with it too much right now. Uh, we're almost done with that famous armory. Let's see, Shimosa, Kazusa. Saruga is another kind of useless one. This is the one we want to build up, so we'll wait for that. Here was where we did the large castle. And so because I'm feeling pretty confident about this, now is where we could look at stuff like our uh, our horse dojo, right? Uh, where is that? Is, is, is it a horse dojo? Is that what it's called? I feel like we're not, we're not training the horses. They're not going to horse school. Where, where is that? I guess we need a spear dojo, right? Is that what we need? We need this before we can get the horse thing? Because Hitachi, we could build it. Yeah, horse dojo. It is a horse school. Okay. So it requires a large castle. That's it. But uh, with a spear dojo, okay. So we're gonna need a spear dojo anyway. So let's 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 get that going. I'm either not seeing the horse dojo or it's not available yet until we build this. So let's go with the spear dojo. All right. Figuring out the building system. Great. Anything else we want to invest in? I guess since we've got so much cash, let's let's go for for more. Actually, no, we're doing that already in Musashi. We're going for the sixty percent. Uh, so we do have some other very uh, very profitable places. Mutsu is pretty strong. Uh, Day was pretty strong. What's that? Four eighty. This is seven twenty. Let's let's crank this up another level. Only three hundred fifty koku for these uh, farmland improvements. They're they're quite good. And I don't think we even have a mine in Echigo. So let's um let's get that going. This is a I believe silver. So that's going to be just easy money. Uh, so if we have a bad harvest, that's going to be nice. Okay, famous armory is done in Hitachi. And what are we going to see here? The Oda are going to help me out. All right, we actually have an allied battle here. So let's do it. Uh, the enemy force, this is the last stand of the daimyo of the Imagawa clan. And uh, we outnumber them ridiculously, but it's a bridge battle. Uh, so we've got the, the most units we should, we should take over, even if uh, the Oda... Even if we lose a lot of men, the Oda aren't going to have enough to, uh, hopefully, to take over our forces. I think it's the most 
force is uh, at the end of the battle. Whoever has the most troops is going to take it. So let's see how this goes. The one question is, okay, there's only one bridge here. So are the Oda going to do it? Like, are they going to uh, to cross the bridge? Or are they going to wait for me to do it? Well, I can't see where they are. But we're, we're real, real far from the bridge. So, yeah, they're right next to it. All right, let's just... Let's move, like, over here. Oh, what are you doing? They're just... They're just withdrawing. All right, fair enough. If they're gonna cross the bridge... Oh, no, this is the Oda. Well, okay. Right. <laughs> that could have been disastrous if I just moved over. All right, let's turn... Um, and let the Oda take a bunch of losses here. What do we have? We got some Naginata. I guess we can send all of these guys over here in a nice big wall. Just march up against their archers. And the Daimyo is right over there in the thick of it. Oda's got a lot of Yari Ashikaru. And they do have a lot of archers too, so I don't need to you know, throw myself in here. They do have some Yari Samurai as well. The Oda do, so they're, uh... Okay, yeah, they're getting down to four Heavy Cav in the Bodyguard, but look at these archers. Get a nice position in the trees. One unit up there, um, another unit here. They're running away now, great. Naginata, now how do we uh, sort of go downward? There's a way to kind of zoom down. Is it the plus? No, that's tilting. That's tilting we can do with a the mouse. There's a way to um, like not use the mouse wheel because this game was <laughs> was made before mouse wheel support was really a thing, I guess. But there's a way to sort of slide down, like like uh, lower the axis of the camera a little bit. It's very, very limited. So there's not much much you can do about it. But um, get a slightly better look at your units. But obviously what you see is largely what you get. This is our Naginata. They look slightly different from our, uh, you know, our Yari Samurai. You can tell these guys have a spear, of course. And these guys have the shorter, stouter polearm, I guess. So far, this is all going great. Uh, the Oda have managed to force the Imagawa down off their hill. And there's the Daimyo, down to one man. Fighting against the Oda horde. doing great actually now the interesting thing about this battle to me is that when I attacked because there was an allied force with me I ended up on the other side of the river like normally I would have been over here uh, you know, you're on one side, the enemy defender is on the other. That's the way it always works. It doesn't matter, I don't think, what direction you're invading from, because you could be sending forces from simultaneous different directions, or from different directions simultaneously. But in this case, I'm on the same side as the defender. And so I don't know what dictates that, uh, but it's that's very interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. There's not too much you can do to um, force that to happen, I guess. Uh, other than to have allies and to have them near you, right, and uh, able to invade. And because the AI watches your moves and then goes, in this case, the Oda AI made the calculation. There we go. Great. Yeah, they, they decided they could throw in some forces, maybe get the province for themselves. 
Maybe that's what they were thinking. But let's just speed it up here while they wrap this up for me. They're gonna take... Okay, they had a whole other archer unit up there. Or two, wow, okay. We're gonna need to do some fighting, perhaps. They're getting chased down the hill. All right, well, you know, I didn't want them to be doing too well. Let's bring the Naginata up. I'm not gonna get into too much of an archer duel. I've got my own general here, though. I forgot, this is the daimyo of the, uh, the Hojo clan, the one we started with. So what we could do is uh, send him into some archers. I'm not going to send him into these spears. They're just Ashigaru units, but uh, tell you what, let's get the Yari Samurai over here. And let's get some Yari Ashigaru to push, I guess, in this general direction in case these guys need some support. Alright, let's 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 send them over. We, they are slow. These guys do not want to be here. Let's see if they'll allow us to catch up to them, though. I guess I'll get my general in this direction instead. Okay, routing good. And we've got, looks like a couple of units of understrength archers here. So we're taking some arrow fire, no losses yet, but I'm sure that's gonna change. Uh, but these are the units, the Naginata, uh, they're described as the units you do wanna send against archers, or like if you need to hold something. Uh, like a bridgehead, uh, like a fort, like a position on a hill. Uh, you can set these guys up in like loose formation, and they're 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 going to do pretty well against archers. Now here, you know it's snow, it's uphill. I shouldn't be you know uh, quick marching them here, but we're against the, the edge of the map. I think it's just a couple of archers. So I think we should be good. And we, we want to push them, and then I want to hit him with my uh, my general, if if that's going to be required. Alright, let's just send him attacking here. And there's no one else in the woods, right? Like, those, those guys are definitely gone. Those guys are off map for sure. Okay. Now they're going to run into the river at some point here. And we're actually going to catch him with uh, some Nagiata. Okay, we've lost one man in both of these units. Now granted, the archers were firing through the trees. I'm quite tired. Okay, we've got the heavy cab with us there, so let's bring him around. I guess I don't really need to chase them. What we do want to do is hit these guys, so they don't uh, they don't keep us keep us running around the map forever. All right, so this should be fine. Uh, they're probably going to route very fast as soon as contact. Nope, not quite. Nine thirty-eight. Decent morale. Okay, there they go. And that's the end of, uh, of the daimyo of the uh, Imagawa. And yes, no, there's no fort here or anything, so we, we got it outright. Very good. And Echu, we also took without a battle, so that's going to leave them all concentrated here. All right. All right, Echu. Wait. I didn't know this had a castle. Okay, so his son has taken over command. We got a succession. And uh, let's see if we can see where that daimyo is. I, I don't know that he's going to be here. I think he's going to be somewhere way in the west, which is great news. So Totomi, two more seasons. Okay, and I, you know, I think that's fine, honestly. Loyalty's great. Yeah, let's just hold out. I don't really need these troops in particular. Um, let's, in fact, move the Naginata up to Shinano. Right where they may be needed up around here. 
because yeah, even if they break out, I think we'll be good with those guys. So let's keep going with the uh, Shinobi. Yep, they're they're still cranking out. And Shinano, yes, just another turn for that Spear Dojo. And Echu, of course, he didn't get a star, unfortunately. Our heir is still at three rank. But, uh, you know, at some point we're going to get a battle with him. And it might be this one. I mean, this is this is pretty intimidating. Look at this. They had three in here before. Now they get four. Uh, three Valor Warrior Monks. Okay. Our best thing against them, I think, is just more and more archers so let's do that this is where you know it might be nice for Totomi to get that uh you know get the siege resolved so we could get our honor bonus archers trained out of here but actually i don't know that it's going to matter because i don't know if the honor affects their uh their ranged attack it may only be a melee uh thing defense and melee attack all right, so Mikawa, this is this is decent. As we said before, we were kind of thinking of this as our borderline for a while, right? It doesn't really make sense for us to rush to take uh, Hida province because that's going to just add one more province for us to have to hold. And the thing I'm worried about, too, is if we eliminate the Imagawa here, if Oda might start to get some ideas, right? If they move a big uh, force into Mino and then we have to start worrying about them attacking us in Shinano. The hope is to get Cav up and running uh, and then just make life easier uh, in a lot of ways. But let's let's wait out these sieges. Uh, we'll resolve them and then see what else is coming. So Shinano is building, Echigo is building mines, uh, Musashi's still got farms going, uh, Dewa, let's, uh, let's see, Dewa has Decent farms. Mutsu has the big farms. Let's go for farms in Diwa. Shimotsuke is... Eh, it's already got the mine, so we don't need to build that there. But Hitachi we could build. Okay. So we went for super armored stuff. And what we could do now is start going for uh, like more offensive things. So like, for example, we could go for our... Uh, sword dojo to get the nodachi and that might be a good a good thing on the other hand let's make sure that our uh our our you know tough heavily defensive and armored units are going to stick around a long time too so we'll go for a palace building here i think this is going to give us some extra morale and uh the naginata i don't think their morale is super great you know up here once we get kaga we start getting warrior monks um, you know, that's going to start being better. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to rush that just now. I guess at the same time we go for this, we could also attack Hida, and then we've got one, two, three, four again. But that's going to take a few turns before I feel strong enough to do that. All right, Spear Dojo in Shinano, so we should be able to get Cav going there. Exceptional farmland in Musashi is finished. All right, Echu is about to fall. Totomi, one more season. <clears throat> All right, and Sagami, good. So we're sort of um, we're sort of using our emissary, I guess, as bait here. What I'm curious about is if this shinobi of ours is going to get some honor. Noble lord, excellent oh. news! You have a son. I am so sorry. Let's um, let's just check the audio on this real quick. Uh, because, as you can see, there's SFX volume, which I don't want to get too down. Speech, yeah, there's there's no there's no other uh, uh, thing I can do there. I guess we can go down like one more notch. It's not going to make a difference, but it's balanced with the other thing. All right, we'll just go back to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I like to have some of the sound effects. I like hearing the little clicks picking the units up. Uh, okay, we just have to be aware that my ears are going to get blown out occasionally when events happen. So we've got another heir, uh, which is nice. It's going to take a very long time before he comes of age, but uh, our current heir has a little brother. So that's going to be, uh, let's see, 15, 16, I think is the age they, they appear on the map. 
<clears throat> so that means we've got, like, you know, what what is that? Uh, Fifteen times four, like sixty years, sixty turns. So that is a, is a bit of, a, of, an, of an issue, I guess. All right, bring you up here. Bring you up here. I guess I should train archers here as well. Uh, but let's go with some more Naginata because it'll be nice to have them uh, against uh, against the spear units. All right, so we have a castle here already. This looks like to be just the the typical castle. It's probably a small castle because that's what what this is. And the model looks the same. So I guess they must have just built it on the same year that we invaded. And what I may want to do though is is think about a port actually somewhere up here, and maybe Noda would be a good place to do that because. Let's try it. I, I feel like as soon as I start this, <laughs> or as soon as I get close to completing the construction, that's when the rebels are going to attack us in Noto. We got the money to spend, so why not? Uh, but we could then send our good troops w right up to here instantly. So I think that's going to be a good move. All right, you can go up here. And just make sure we don't stop training Shinobi. So this is uh, one more season, and then it's going to fall after that. Kai, we don't need to keep anybody around, but let's move someone down to Suruga, which we captured. And I guess castles help with the loyalty, right? Honestly, I'm not sure if it does. But let's go ahead and, and build one anyway. I need to check that. If What what improves provincial loyalty? It may simply be that we, we only captured this relatively recently, right? Take a look at all of our buildings again. Echigo, yes, going to the mine. Shinano. Um, I thought I queued up a spear dojo there, and I did. And so now we can go for our for our, our cavalry. Yes, the long, low building here is the horse dojo. Uh, so finally, uh, we're going to be able to get Yari Cav. And we can't train archers yet, but if we go with a, an, an archer archery dojo, we can get our... Uh, cavalry archers as well, which is a, a very interesting unit, but doesn't seem to quite fit the Hojo style, I guess. I don't mind f focusing on my foot archers. Now this, any cavalry trained here, so this this is the cav archers, this is the yari cav, and eventually heavy cav. All those units trained in Shinano are going to be uh, starting with at least one honor, so that's something to remember, I suppose. Uh, let's move you up here. I'm really not worried about this being attacked right now. Uh, even if the Oda betray me, they're, they're not going to be going for it just yet. And here we got to go for a castle. I guess I neglected that last season. Okay, so what to do with Shinano at the moment? I mean, we could move guys, continue to move more guys up. We do have an enemy here. He doesn't have a castle yet, so we probably can't you know, build anything. And this is not the heir, is it? I don't think so. I think it would. I think it would tell us. But let's see. Let's go ahead and get a few archers up, and let's get a few strong units uh, up as well to face those warrior monks. Let's uh, let's go ahead. You can go there. You can go there. And yes, we'll do these four. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So how many archers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All right, feels like overkill, but they've got a lot too. One, two, three, four. So as soon as this resolves, I think we're going to be ready to uh, to move our own forces over and take Kaga. All right, death in Sagami. So, let's see. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to play this out. See if this works. Uh, okay. 
So that's what it looks like when they succeed. I think every time we've seen that particular video, the emissary has managed to turn the tables. Uh, and we finally get Etchu, and probably the castle's gone now. Uh, Totomi's about to fall. Great. So, Etchu, can we go now? Should we go now? I think we do. I think we want to. The problem is, this is this is an, uh, a, a strong army with a general that outranks us, right? So, unfortunately, we lost our Emissary and Sagami. Let's, let's get another one queued up. Uh, and I would like him soon. <clears throat> Maybe what we'll do is this. We'll get the Emissary... No, I think we got to go for it. I was thinking maybe we'll get up here and try a bribery. Uh, like, bribe some of these units. I mean, maybe. Let's let's queue up the castle anyway. But looking at what we have, like, I really think we should be able to do it. And the longer we wait, theoretically, the more they could train. And the more expensive that bribe's gonna be, going to become. But maybe before we move out, like, all of these troops... Because I am going to take, like, like definitely a full stack. Let's see. We've got four full archer units here. Uh, that brings it up to six. And we've got the three Naginata. Let's see. We've got another one here. Yeah, let's move them over here and then up. And then we want stuff like, you know... I guess good stuff. Yari Samurai, right? But maybe we want like a ridiculously overpowered archer army. Because we're not going to be like fighting with this guy, right? He's going to be kind of back. He might not have the best shots. And this is a Highland province, isn't it? Shoot. So this is going to be tough. Maybe we do want to wait a little bit. Let's wait till the castle gets built. And then we can send everybody in. Maybe by then we're going to have a bit of cav, too. Only, only uh, like, three more seasons. Yeah, let's just keep training the Naginata. We're going to get a port here in uh, four seasons. All right, castle's finished there. Suruga has a castle. Echigo has the mine. All right, so the Oda, it looks like they have... At least made an attempt on Echizen. Okay, Totomi's fallen to us. Great. And an average harvest. My gosh. We're doing fantastic. All right, Suruga. Now, why is this unhappy? We built a castle here, but it didn't really do anything. Let's see if Watchtowers do anything, right? The loyalty here is 117. We got a Shinobi. Let's now bring you up. And let's just, like, see what the bribery would, would look like in terms of the cost. If we tr try to bribe the castle, 3,000. Yep, let's let's do it. Now, he may die. So what I'm going to do is just kind of make sure for the next couple of turns we get emissaries. Uh, he's going to try to have the shortest path. So that might be, like, a Wari, something like this, right? But going through this territory, he may be exposed to enemy assassins. So if he uh, if he makes it, great. Uh, he does have one honor on him. If not, obviously we're gonna have to rethink. Let's keep the Hitachi. Uh, the, uh, the the guys we're training in Hitachi here. Three more seasons, we'll have that port. And uh, let's see what else we want to do for Echigo. Farming's decent. Let's just uh, augment that a little bit further. Uh, Mutsu is still building farms. Uh, Musashi has built those really good farms, so let's spend a bit of cash on that. Shimosa, I'm just kind of leaving at the moment because it doesn't offer great enough bonuses, really. Sagami might be worth upgrading. We do have a port here already. I mean, we're not going to get armored stuff out of it. But you know what? I think we want to focus on Totomi, really. Um, this does not have an archery dojo yet, so let's get that going. And then it's already got a port, which is really nice. What can we train here? Okay, Shinobi. Let's uh, while we're doing, kind of waiting for the archery dojo. Let's let's get that. And Mikawa. Uh, we've got watchtowers, so we can take a look, I guess, at what what the Oda clan have next door. Okay, archers, that's it. 
Now, they do have another army. Or is that just the castle garrison? Yeah, okay. So here, oh, they've got weapon upgrades. Okay, lots of archers and uh, Yari Ashigaru. And this is nice. Well, well built up. They're building a fortress currently. Ooh, rich. It's got a river. We're going to want to get this at some point. But, you know, I, I want to maintain my alliance with the Oda. Let's check out how they're doing uh, in the throne room here. And yeah, so they've, uh, you know, they've managed to take a province off of the rebels to the north. I don't think they're at war with the Mori, but the Mori, as we've seen, have wrapped around here. But it looks like the Mori are in trouble uh, as well. They did have Kawachi at one point, and they may have had Tamba as well. I think they had right to the edge, geez, almost to this the lake here. But they have lost some ground uh, to rebels. I think they picked up a Waji recently. Okay. So the Mori are getting some setbacks. That's good. I'm going to take my time with this. I'm going to do it right. We're going to try to bribe, get some warrior monks on our side if we can. I think that's how it works. And is this a four-star guy? Oh, my gosh. I hope we get him. Because with that alone, we might be able to clean out Kaga. Uh, let's just check loyalty. Everything's good, I guess. Echu Castle is finished. Horse Dojo and Shinano is finished. Wonderful. Superior farmland in Mitsu and palace in Hitachi, so the morale is going to be nice. Okay, Oda are resurgent. Oh, let's see if those attacks succeeded. And Kazuza, great. We killed an enemy ninja. Hopefully that was the one that was giving us a hard time. Uh, okay. You, yes, they moved over to Awari. And let's just check that again. I think those attacks succeeded. Okay, one of them or two of them did. What is that? Omi... They had Awari anyway. Okay, so they got one of those provinces. They got Omi. Good for them. I mean, I guess. Right? At some point, uh, we're going to have to do some clever stuff to get around them. Either we're going to have to fight them ourselves, or we're going to have to go uh, elsewhere and fight the Mori. I think I'd rather adopt a defensive posture against the Oda. Uh, I think I'll be able to hold out against them. And I don't mind them getting big, cleaning out some of these rebels for me, and uh, maybe coming to blows with the Mori faction. We'll keep our alliance. We'll keep our uh, that that alliance Koku rolling in, which is only I think a couple of factions currently. Yeah, Shimazu uh, and uh, and Oda are the only allies we have. But I think that's sufficient. So now that we've got uh, Cav training capability here, let's go nuts on Yari Cav. Let's get four. I mean, that's not nuts, but you know, let's get a good amount, right? And let's see. There's a lot of agent activity here, which I'm a little concerned about. So maybe we should go for watchtowers and then the border forts as well. All right, how close are we to... Looks like two more seasons... Okay, and you're good. Let's, um, let's, yeah, let's keep you moving, following the same track, I guess. And we've got another emissary coming, that's fine. Okay, so we've got watchtowers. Uh, let's go with the large castle, right? There's really not much to, uh, uh, to, to build here in terms of units, and the farm income's not, not awesome. Hmm. Maybe what I should do is leave a smaller force here and uh, not invest in it so much. We are investing in Totomi. But this looks plenty happy. So I think what I could do is move my guys back up to Shinano because I'm concerned that the Oda are going to be worried about my buildup here. I only share borders with them at Mikawa. So maybe, maybe get these guys out of here. Move my daimyo up to Shinano and then we'll go here and you know, maybe maybe assist. I think this is a good central place. So who do we want to leave behind? Let's leave a couple Naginata units. Let's leave uh, Yari Ashigaru. Spear. A couple of archers. Yeah, maybe a third archer, actually. 
we're matching them and we've got slightly fewer units so that like if they do attack I think we'll be okay and let's let's do that we'll, we'll have a, a starred general there so that in case uh, you know in case something happens and he wins a defensive battle he might get a second rank uh, let's move some of you guys uh, up to Shinano as well we probably don't need all of you 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 I don't so retraining I'm not sure if it costs money I would assume that it does so we may as well train a new archer unit rather than retrain these guys right but you know what let's leave them here and leave the Yari Ashigaru just because we may want someone here for defense I guess uh, or at least to move around to other places okay Echigu castle is finished do we want to build anything else yeah, I mean, there's nothing here. So I don't think so. I think Shinano, uh, we're going on watchtowers. We're going on um, cavalry there. So Totomi's going to be our next build. Uh, Suruga border watchtowers are built. And Dewa superior farmland. Okay, great. All right, they're trying for Ise. Or Isa. All right, Owari. So this is probably this guy. I neglected to move him out of here. Let's see if he turns the tables. Nope. All right, unfortunate. There is a way, uh, that, you know, that they can, uh, you know, beat the enemy ninja in that in that video. I, I don't think I've seen the one uh, in this campaign where they actually turn the tables, but it is a thing. Let's add you together. And, you know, it might be good, actually, to have some cav up here uh, with my air. So if the emissary gets there, uh, it looks like it's going to be one and two seasons. And he may be killed by a, a, a ninja on his way. Well, let's let's send this guy. Let's, let's keep them going, right? Let's keep them after my emissaries that are not going to bribe. All right, we've got a fort there, watchtowers in Shinano. All right, Owari. Okay, great. This is probably, they've only, hopefully they've only got the one ninja. All right, I'm just gonna skip this one. I've seen it so much and he, he killed my guy. All right, we're the richest. Great. Okay. And so he's only one turn away from uh, maybe being able to bribe these four warrior monks. And then if we do, we'll move in uh, with, the, with the remaining forces. Even if not, like even if I mess up the timing somehow, uh, this will really weaken them, so that'll be nice. Let's see, and do we have next turn? No, we do have the port. Great. Okay, are we training anybody now? No, but let's go up here. Now we've got a couple of Naginata units. That is awesome. Uh, so here now, what can we do? We went with the palace. Uh, do we want to go with the fortress? I don't know that we really need it right now. Okay, interesting. I don't know that I've ever built this. Okay, so this apparently uh, only helps your units when they're routing. I don't know if it does anything, but let's try it. Uh, it seems to fit the, uh, the, the the Hojo, right? We're going for this disciplined, traditionalist uh, faction. So if, if our guys rout, our rock-solid army starts to turn and, and run away, then maybe we can rally them more effectively. Let's do that. And and Musashi, I think we're building up to 100% there. Dewa has our gut 40. Let's go with uh, Mutsu go for 60. So we're just going to keep that wealth rolling in, hopefully. And Totomi has the archery dojo. So now we can start retraining. And I'm going to start uh, with, let's see. Uh, okay, you're actually bad. Should we just disband you? That's right, there's no disbanding in this game. There is just, uh, you know, the seppuku. <laughs> yeah, I guess let's do it. Yes. Okay. I thought there was going to be a sound effect maybe accompanying that, but uh, I guess not. Okay, so what we're going to do instead, let's take this shinobi out of the queue. 
and uh, we'll retrain like you we'll do actually we can do all of you guys and then we'll also look at building stuff that's going to help morale so that's going to be like our uh, castle which I think is going to allow us to build a palace at some point so this will be good we'll get archers coming from Totomi we've got Naginata coming from Hitachi I guess Yari spears could come from there too and then we get cavalry from Shinano. Unfortunately, this is not a uh, a coastal province, but it's one step away from Totomi, so we can just bring him down here, uh, and then they can use this port if we train really good cav up here. All right, we can also do armory here, which we probably should do. Let's let's do that. Let's make sure our cav is is really good. Okay. Uh, we'll keep one unit with the faction leader, and then we'll put the end season and see if we get that bribery. All right, Kazuza, are you gonna do it? I think he might. I think he might. No, maybe not. Aha! All right. Nice. All right, good news. The general has accepted your bribe and will be joining your forces. Awesome. And uh, our treasuries basically stayed the same. So now we are under siege in Kaga province. That is great. Uh, so bribing successfully did not give him any extra honor, but that's okay. That's, uh, that's, that's fine for me. So let's move our spy in, the shinobi there. We'll, we'll keep the, uh, the emissary right here, I suppose. And what I'd like to do is start checking out what the other factions are doing uh, with, with, our, uh, with our shinobi. We've got some excess shinobi uh, kicking around. Uh, like we can move one up here to Misashi, but otherwise I think we're pretty well covered. I think there's a shinobi in every province that we own. And so, yes, we can now afford to take one or two uh, and move them around to other places. So let's take a look at the throne room again real quick and see where we want to start potentially dis destabilizing our rivals. So we saw that the Mori were having trouble holding on to these parts of the territory. So let's send a shinobi over here. All right, upward to Ki or Kawachi. I don't know if they're going to have any ports there. Uh, no. But we could go, like, to Isa, Yamato, and then Kawachi. So let's, let's just do that. And that way we won't be uh, troubling the Oda too much. All right, we've got our honor bonus on the archer here. And now we need to decide about how we're going to deal with this. So we've got four warrior monks with a rank four general leading them, which is just awesome. Uh, and those four alone are facing four warrior monks of the rebels with their own four <laughs> command general and one two three four archer units so if i send my prince i don't know who's going to uh take over the leadership of this battle it's either going to be my well actually no it won't be the prince so how about this uh i hate to do it but i'd like to get the prince a bit of experience so let's move. Oh, we can't move him out because because we're uh, we're besieged currently. All right, we need to get everybody out of here and and attacking. So I guess there's no sense in moving the prince in. So what we'll do instead uh, is get six archers, a cavalry unit, and so that's seven. We've got four here, and yeah, let's go with the Naginata. One, two. Uh, let's let's go three. We'll take all of them. We can take two more units. So I guess we want to go with like spears for that, right? Uh, one, two. There we go. And so we'll see how this new purchase has worked out. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be getting experience for the prince here because he's not going to be leading the army uh, of of this force. This is just going to be a big. Actually, we send the two Naginata instead. How about that? We'll take out. Take out the Yari Samurai, move him back here. So, 
we'll have to work on his experience later. Maybe we'll have to send him over behind enemy lines, although that's that's pretty dangerous. Maybe instead what we'll do is just wait for a likely opportunity to present itself. We don't need to be risking him with all these heroics. So I, before we end the episode here, I want to see if, uh, if we're going to get one more battle or if the rebels are just going to withdraw or, like, surrender, basically. So I think we're probably almost good with everything here. Loyalty went up, didn't it, to 170. So the castle or the watchtowers, I think, did it. I think it was the watchtowers. I mean, I guess. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there was just an enemy shinobi in here that moved out, and that brought our uh, loyalty back up. Uh, okay, we're still training extra sh shinobi. I'll just keep them around here, and then we'll start sending them off on missions uh, to other places. Let's go with a large castle. I don't know if there's any buildings up further up the chain that will improve our emissaries more, uh, but, we, you know, I, we can afford to do it. So let's end the turn, I guess. Oh, the Oda are helping us, too. So our garrison sallies, uh, the Oda are sending 156 men, and uh, and the warrior monks are standing and fighting. I don't think they have a really an option here, so let's make this our final battle of the episode in Kaga province. It's snowy, it's winter. Let's attack, it's beautiful. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Uh, once again, we'll sort of follow the Oda, uh, see what they do. They've got just a few men, so they're probably going to be slaughtered. But here's our warrior monks. This would be the general, right? Right here. You know, there's just just a slight difference in you know the model and the texture here. So this unit is basically just excellent morale, right? And and I think they also damage the morale of other. Uh, Japanese units. I think if you get... Can you get non-Japanese units in this game? Hmm. Oh, it's it's if your faction is Christian. That's what it is. I think the, the, uh, the morale debuff from having to fight warrior monks who are fellow Buddhists uh, goes away if your faction converts to Christianity. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's just keep this line the way it is. It looks really strong. I know the general's there, uh, but we'll just group everybody and we'll maneuver them as needed. So there's the Oda. They've got Yari Ashigaru as normal. They got some samurai archers. And where's the rebels? Where's the rebels? They're not behind us. That's the Oda marching into, uh, into position. They may be up here in the woods. Let's see where they go. All right, no one's revealing themselves yet. I think there's not a lot of room up here. We're pretty close to the edge of the map, so our formations are going to be screwed up, but yeah, there they are. They're right up here. We'll just march over here. I think there's something like three warrior monk units and like three or four archers, right? All right, here we go. We don't have the best ground, but my archers are firing, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, let's bring over some other archers. Oops, and again, because I selected more than one unit at a time, it's selecting the whole group, but I think this is good. Yeah, and there's definitely some more up here. All right, they're attacking. Is it our archers? Let's go in with our general. as well. <clears throat> Let's see if this works out. Okay, great. Their general's coming down from the hill. Now, this is just a bribed general. If we lose him, you know, it's it's fine. 
this is a clumsy formation. But I'm not going to change it now because we're getting some arrows into the enemy. All right, great. Routed those warrior monks. Two of them left. Okay, good. Now I want maybe keep my general out of fighting uh, as much as possible for the rest of this battle. Let's send warrior monks this way. And let's get my cavalry up top of the hill. They're running away. And samurai archers over here. Okay, so there'd be a good target for my calf. Move some Naginata up. Quite tired though, so. And it's nice to have a cab unit that's not your general for a change. So I don't have to worry about them so much. You know, again, they could route, but if they do, not a huge deal. Let's go over here. I, this may be it. I don't know if there's anything else on the hill. Uh, let's see. Yep, let's get them engaged and turn around and get you guys engaged too. Charge in with your swords, little guys. Horse is doing okay. All right, great. And I think we just about got it. Oh, there is another unit of samurai archers. Okay. Oh, there's another unit. <laughs> there's like two units up there. All right. So, let's... Uh, so everybody's grouped. So if I if I do this, can I paint the group? No, that's that's so annoying. All right, uh, backspace. Whoops. All right, cancel that. But I could um, if I click somewhere, are they going to go in the front? No, they're going to keep this formation. How annoying! Groups, man. I got to figure out how like to use them because you would think, okay, surely one of the, the, the purposes of having a group formation is so that you can get your guys back into that formation once they get all strung out from being in a battle. It would be really nice if it worked that way. But it doesn't. Let's send the warrior monks up there. I know this feels like, like kind of useless, but um, they're handy, right? They're, they're right here. All right, let's just keep on those samurai who may uh, come back. But yeah, we are going to take some losses to archers here. Uh, maybe we'll push them with our cav. Maybe they'll fight our cav and win. Could be more units hidden in the trees. You don't know. Okay, they're at least marching away, so we're not going to be under archer fire. Send you, I guess, after these guys. And I'm losing badly in the trees. You know, as expected, I guess. Oh, they had some warrior monks. Okay, they had a few guys left over in the woods. Alright, well, it's good that I brought my, uh, my tough guys up with me. Alright, I, I guess we don't really need the general uh, right here. We don't need him to join in, at least. So, the Cav... Um, let's, let's keep him here. Naginata. You guys run right up, please. And we've got some other warrior monks. Send them after as well. All these guys are routing. Great. More Naginata. We've got a bunch of these guys. So I guess five units. I was thinking, feel, felt like we only had like three or maybe four. 
But yes, let's bring them up here. So we're going to lose that cab. Honestly, that's fine. We've got lots more coming. Okay. Always the worst part of a battle where archers are just stubbornly refusing to rout, but you got to chase them down. Uh, okay, so we've got the province, and because we were in the castle, uh, we don't need to besiege it. We bribed the garrison. So I think that it does matter which unit you bribed. Like, we could have gone for the larger stack outside the castle, but then we would have uh, had to endure a siege, right? I mean, I guess we could have just held them there too, but this, I don't know, feels quicker, costs us a bit less cash. And so with that, we've got some slightly different borders. So let's do the last thing here that we're going to do, which is keep an Ashigaru unit here, and let's send our air down into Hida. I don't know if they're going to fight, but we're going to get this province. We're going to take it, and we're going to make sure that they don't have it again. Uh, Totomi's building, Kai, Shinano's building, uh, Noto has the port, and Kaga, we can train warrior monks already, and cav archers, incidentally, so that's... But not cavalry, so we don't have a spear dojo, apparently. Very interesting. So let's go up with... Um, Let's see, we can make uh, we can make warrior monks and any trained here will be of higher than normal honor. So, I mean, let's, jeez, let's go with a port. Let's kind of hold off, do a port here. Uh, that way we can, of course, transport them wherever. The port at Nodo feels maybe kind of pointless. But it helped us at the moment and it's going to be making cash, right? So we're invading Hida province. Um... Let's okay. Last battle for sure. I don't think this is going to be much of one. Let's just attack. Uh, we've got a lot of archers, and everything else is Yari Samurai, so I think this formation will be just fine. We've got these uh, these woods, and they're probably going to be right on top of them. No. Maybe they're down in the valley. No, no such luck. The AI is pretty much always going to be in the worst possible position for you. So they might be on this hill. There's only like 170 of them. So let's move our guys uh, up here. And just pay attention to what pops out, if anything. All right. So far, so good. There they are. Alright, and it looks like Oda's already got uh, stuck in. <laughs> They're not doing too well in these battles. They're sending in some forces, which I appreciate. Okay. But they're not doing too well. Now, I'm also not sure if this battle's really going to matter in terms of getting another star for our general. Let's move up into the trees with our left. Some Yari Samurai, some Samurai Archers. Uh, I don't see anything up there now, but there may be. Alright, no, there they are. 55 Yari Samurai. Okay. Is that the general? It doesn't look like it. So, yeah. Let's go into the woods here. We're probably going to get uh, ambushed by a unit in the trees. I think there's at least one more unit of theirs kicking around. Bring up everybody else in the middle, so we'll have plenty of fire support. It's going to be shooting uphill. Fifty-two. Let's see how we do. Ah, there they are, way back there. Wow. Right, 
but it does look like they're coming towards us. And they've got another unit. I think it would be better for them if they just kept them all together, right? All right, they came down to see what was going on and didn't like it. All right, so here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to be smart here. Let's um, let's get the formation button, which is this one, right? Let's go with. Oh gosh, no. Where'd where'd my all my formations go? Can we do that? Close, loose. I want to get the uh, the little uh, bird uh, claw, the crab fist, the, all those other things. We can't do that here. I guess we can only do it at the setup stage. Okay, so we're in a group. Let's do um, something like this, you know? Let's do a, I know, we don't want a square. Let's go defensive. Oh, that's gonna screw it up because now they're attacking me. All right, halt that. Still, that looks pretty good. Okay, so maybe that's what you're supposed to do is uh, use use this button when you're all grouped up after you get out of formation and then you can pick something that kind of makes sense. Where are they all gonna go? Okay, that, yeah, that'll be nice. Okay. I just need to figure out what to press here. It's different from what I'm used to, but I'm getting there. All right, let's have you outflank. And that should be it, actually. All right, last battle there. The Oda keep helping me out uh, and weakening themselves in the process, which is fine. I'm not going to complain about that. We've taken the fortress here. We've got a siege. And he's got his fourth rank back. Good for you, Hojo Ujiyasu. Wonderful news. So this is going to be... Uh, okay, once again, there's only five men in this castle. We're going to auto-resolve that for the next turn and just see if there's any other last sort of uh, quick things we might want to build. Let's see, Musashi, I'm not really training stuff out of here as much as I used to, but let's go ahead with another port because if I need the odd archer unit, you know, all of a sudden, it might be nice to have that. Uh, okay, we've got, we've got decent farm income here. Let's go with one of these. And let's see, it's the summertime, Tomi, Mikawa, Suga, Kai. We've already got the mine built. All right, I, I, guess we, I guess we're still in the waiting phase for everything. So let's end that. There's our large castle in Tomi, Armory in Shinano, Drill Dojo in Hitachi. We'll see if that does anything. And the Oda, they're, they are, look like they're coming back. Okay, we forgot to move our Shinobi, though. He's down at Isa. Castle Assault. Only five men. Again, if there were more, I'd auto-resolve I'd, I'd resolve it myself, but we're just going to auto-calc it. Okay. Caught and killed an enemy ninja. Great. Okay. Shimazu. Ooh. I would have thought Imagawa. Shimazu. For shame. You've been my ally for a very long time. Well, they're allied with the Mori, too, so maybe that'll uh, sort of uh, indicate to us which way the wind is going to blow if, uh, if we attack them or they attack us. Meantime, though, we'll move over to Yamato. We can see what Isa has now. Good farm income and lots of buildings. Oh, my gosh. Looks like they got a Buddhist temple here. they got a sword dojo. We haven't made any of those yet. And, you know, that's something that I may do in Hitachi eventually. Um, but I think before I do that, I may go with a swordsmith to add just a little bit of punch to the attack of our Naginata units. They're not great attack units anyway. Um, but they are, you know, they, they are somewhat useful. So let's let's cue that up. Uh, and before we do anything else, we can check the public order. Everything looks good. So it's autumn. We can play around with taxes. Let's see how our punitive tax rate works here. It works just fine. Uh, so hopefully uh, we won't have any rebellions in the next season. And when we come back, we're going to be looking at a very different map. Uh, of Japan. We've got a port going here, so we're going to be able to get some really good units out of the north provinces that we've got and out of the provinces along the southern side as well. And that means we're going to have to think about stuff like, uh, do we want to jump into Bizen? Do we want to jump into Tosa? 
since the uh, the Shimazu have been sending spies in our general direction, they can't even plausibly say that they were trying to work under, uh, you know, the Imagawa clan over here because they're they're not here. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to give some thought to that. But I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, running a little bit long, but I can't help myself with this campaign when it starts to get interesting like this. So we've got now a wall. We've got a nice four uh, province border with the Oda, but as you can see, they've got a better border, just three. And some of these are pretty nice uh, as well. We've got some farmland. We've got an armory here, potentially. We've got rivers. Um, and we've got an Ashigaru bonus, oddly enough, in Owari, so why not? We're going to wait, though, before we betray the Oda. We're going to see if, uh, if they can prevent themselves from betraying us. And we'll see what the next episode brings us. Until then, everybody, take care.